Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're still at our IMO Pass Problems playlist and in the last video we have solved our very first problem which was IMO uh, 19 and 59 which was held at Romania problem 1 and in this video we're going to continue with uh, the first IMO but with uh, problem 4. So as we mentioned we're going to solve in this playlist uh, all the problems but just problem problem one and problem four of each year. Okay, so this actually, this problem was uh, geometry, but actually it was a bit strange because in this problem, as you can see, this is a geometrical construction problem. So here we need like to construct some stuff. So actually it tends that these problems or the constructions don't uh, tend to appear anymore at the IMO. So I don't think like, uh, at the past 10 years, we have any uh, IMO, uh, like a geometrical construction. I'm not really sure. But actually, these used to uh, come quite often at the old IMOs. But anyway, it's really nice to discuss one of these problems. So if you are ready, bring your compass and ruler and let's get started. So as I mentioned, the only permitted tools like you can use in this problem are a ruler and a compass. So you cannot use uh, a protractor in this geometrical construction. Okay, and of course we can use a pin. <laughs> okay, so let's actually start by reading the statements of the problem. So we're given the length B equals to AC. So basically uh, we, we have uh, one information which is that the side AC in this problem is equal to B, which is just some uh, positive real number. Okay, and we are asked to construct a triangle ABC such that we have some uh, conditions. So the first condition is that the angle ABC is equal to pi over two, meaning that this uh, triangle is right, is a right triangle with vertex B. And the median BM, so M is the midpoint of the uh, side AC, Okay, and the median BM satisfies the following. So BM squared is equal to AB times BC. So basically, in this problem, we have three, inform three informations or uh, three pieces of, inf of information, which are AC, the length of AC, the side AC, is equal to B. And the triangle is a right triangle with vertex B. And we have this uh, relation, which is probably the hardest one to deal with is that BM squared is equal to AB times BC. Okay, so how can we start uh, with constructing like this triangle? So actually, the first thing is not to construct this triangle. Actually, let's, let's just draw this triangle and then let's like try to find some of its properties. Maybe like we can get rid of this like a kind of hard relation and instead bring like a simpler one uh, which we can easily construct, for example. Okay, so let's start by simply uh, constructing a right triangle ABC. Okay, so let's start. So basically we're going to start with side AC and a right triangle. Okay, let's assume this is a right triangle. Okay, so basically this is A, C, and B. And of course, this the length of this is B. But we, are, we know that M is the midpoint of AC. So here we have point M. And we need to draw BM, the medium BM. Okay, and now actually, let's, uh, let's remember that the length of side AC is B. But since M is the midpoint, then we know that this is the same as this. So, and they are both B over two because M is the midpoint of AC. And furthermore, because this is a right triangle, remember that in a right triangle, the median, uh, like dropped from the vertex of this right triangle, this median is equal to the half uh, of the hypotenuse. So basically, actually this one, BM, is also B over two. Of course, this can be proven uh, simply by angle chasing, simple angle chasing. Okay, 
Okay, so this is b over 2, this is b over 2, and this is b over 2. Okay, so now let's take a look at this relation because it is the only relation that we didn't like uh, express in our figure. So bm squared is equal to ab times bc. So what is bm squared? Well, bm is b over 2. So bm squared is actually b over 2 squared. So it is basically b squared over 4. So like this is nice because we have got, uh, got rid of uh, this uh, bm. So instead now we know that b squared over 4 is equal to ab times bc. So basically ba times bc. Okay, but what is basically ba times bc? Because remember, we don't know anything about ba and bc. We only know that ac is b. So what is ba times bc? What do you think? Well, actually, since this triangle is a right triangle, remember, what is BA times BC in a right triangle? Well, actually, it is twice uh, the area of this triangle, right? Because what is the area of this triangle? It is simply half of BA times BC. So basically, instead of writing BA times BC, we can say that this BA times BC is twice or two times the area of this triangle. Okay, so that means that this equals 2 times the area. Let's represent it uh, by the following, A, B, C. Great. Okay, so is that like better or worse? What, it, what, what does the area of the triangle represent? Triangle uh, A, B, C. Well, actually it is better, but not as it is. So like we don't care about the area here, but remember, we can express the area in more than one ways, and or in uh, mo more than one way. So instead of writing it as BA times BC, why don't we use BC, uh, AC? Remember, we know that AC, the length of AC is B. So we can probably use this by saying that the area of triangle ABC is simply uh, AC times the altitude from uh, B. Right? So now we're going to have B times H which is the altitude. Okay, so now actually let's uh, draw the altitude since we're going to use it. And simply let's say it is mm -hmm, this one here. Let's say it has length h and let's say this is b. Okay, so now what is the area of triangle ABC? Well, simple, it is half of AC times uh, BD, or in other terms, uh, half of B times H. And of course, two times half is one, so we can simply now write the following, B squared over four is equal to B times H. But guess what? Here we, going, here we have B squared and here we have B, so we can get rid of this with this, and simply now we have the following magical or simple relation, which is h is equal to b over 4. So now probably this is simpler than this, right? Because now we know that the altitude h is just the quarter of the side ac. And now this is probably like more helpful than this uh, hard relation. Okay, now we have broken uh, this uh, broken up this uh, hard relation into this simple relation. Now it's time to like start constructing or let's start thinking how can we construct this uh, triangle. Okay, so now actually let's uh, erase the triangle and start thinking how can we put a plan to construct this triangle using a ruler and a compass. So now we're just going to write here that h is equal to b over 4. Okay, now let's actually start thinking how we can uh, construct this triangle. Well, the first information we have here is that b equals the length of ac, right? So it makes sense to start uh, constructing the, the triangle by drawing ac, right? So we can simply use the ruler here 
in order to uh, construct just a segment uh, AC that has the length B. So like we can determine here B and we can simply construct a, a segment or the side AC such that the length of AC is B. So let's actually assume that we have done that. So now we have the side AC. Great. So now we have AC and this, uh, of course, we said this is B. The length of AC is B. Great. So now what do we need to do? We just need to find one point, which is B. So if we can determine the point B, then we are done. Okay, great. So now we're done with this. Now we should remember that ABC is a right triangle with B, its vertex. Okay, so now we need to determine B such that uh, 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 ABC is a right triangle uh, or is a right angle. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, we cannot just say that we're going to construct uh, or like build uh, some point B such that this is a right triangle. We need to express it. Like how can we construct it? So basically, actually, we have a simple plan to construct it. Remember that uh, in any right triangle, uh, let's draw it actually here. So if we have any right triangle here, remember that we can draw a circle here with the, with the diameter being the hypotenuse. And then we have the right vertex. It, li it must lie on the circle, right? So basically, we can, we can here construct the circle with diameter AC. And then we know that for sure uh, the point B must lie on this circle. And in fact, that is equivalent to saying that uh, ABC, the angle ABC is pi over 2, right? OK, but how can we construct uh, a cir such a circle? Well, of course, it's really simple. Using the ruler, we can determine the midpoint M using the ruler. And then we can simply uh, use the uh, compass in order to draw this uh, circle with diameter ma. So let's assume that we have, let's draw it actually. Well, we don't need the whole circle. A semicircle is enough. And now we know for sure that b must lie some, somewhere in this, on this circle, right? Great. Okay, but that's not enough because we need uh, to do this condition, right? To have this condition satisfied. So h is equal to b over 4. So how can we do that exactly? Well, we know that this is b. So we need just to have this point, like on this circle, such that the altitude or the distance between this point b and ac is a quarter uh, of the ac, of ac. Okay, so how can we do that exactly? Well, actually, it is not really complicated. Well, if you thought about it a little, remember that this is b over 2. So the radius, the radius of this circle is b over 2. So why not uh, constructing uh, this one here? So why not constructing the, the perpendicular bisector of AC? So like this one here. OK, let's say, for example, this point here is E. And this is the perpendicular bisector. So this is pi over 2. And how much is that? Or what is the length of this EM? Well, it is b over 2, right? Exactly. So it's b over 2. Well, it's not, it's not b over 4. It's b over 2. If it was b over 4, then we are done. But it's b over 2. But can we make it b, b over 4? Well, actually, yes, we can. Well, we can do the same process again. We can construct the perpendicular bisector of this one. Let's take a look. So we constructed the perpendicular bisector, let's say at point B. And now actually this one is B over 4. And of course, because this is a perpendicular bisector, then this uh, angle is a right angle, meaning that these two are parallel. So basically, the altitude from B to AC is B over 4. And finally, we have our triangle. So this is the triangle ABC because the altitude from B is B over 4 indeed. And basically, we will be done if we can do that. Well, actually, that means we are done. But we haven't discussed, like, how can we uh, construct a perpendicular bisector? So, like, is it a trivial or 
it's uh, maybe not possible. So you need to explain that. Well, actually, it turns out to be trivial, but let's anyway discuss it. Okay, so basically, now we are done. We just need to explain how to draw a perpendicular bisector of some, uh, let's say, of some segment. Okay, so basically, let's assume that we have this segment. A, uh, let's say AC. How can we construct the uh, perpendicular bisector of AC? Well, actually, it is really simple. It uses like a geometrical uh, fact, actually. First, we just need to determine the midpoint. Let's say it's M. And then, of course, we said that we cannot use a protractor. So we cannot, like, say, we, we put here the protractor and find at the right angle. No, we cannot do that. But instead, we can draw a circle using the compass. So let's take uh, like a circle with center C and uh, radius CM and let's draw this circle. So basically we'll draw it. Let's say, uh, actually we're just interested in this part of it. And we'll do the same here for AM. Like we'll bring a circle with center A and radius AM. Remember this is the midpoint. So like the radius of these are the same or is the same. Uh, okay, again, here. Okay, so now we take a look. Here we have one intersection of these two circles. Let's say is uh, D. So actually, this D must lie on the perpendicular bisector. And this is like a geometrical fact. Uh, I'll leave actually the proof to you. Maybe you can write it in the comments and I will pin your proof. Okay, so after we've done that, now uh, we have our point D. So basically we just going to connect the M. And simply, ladies and gentlemen, we have our perpendicular bicycle constructed. Okay, so basically, now we know for sure that we can construct a perpendicular bicycle. So we can so we can say that our problem is done. So as a summary, let's discuss what we have done in this problem or in any like uh, construction problem, we can do the same steps. So first, actually, don't think that you can start solving right away by constructing the triangle. First of all, you need to start analyzing. So just draw some random figure and st start like breaking down some of the uh, relations here. So as we mentioned, or as we saw in our solution, we first draw the triangle ABC and we uh, concluded that simply H, the altitude from B, is simply B over four. And of course, this was much more simpler than this relation here. Okay, so after we've done that, we immediately started constructing by uh, the simple process. We first of all uh, constructed AC using a ruler uh, with length B, of course, and we uh, like determined point M here at the midpoint. And then we drawn the, cir the circle with radius AC or just a semicircle here. And then we constructed the a perpendicular bisector of AC and the perpendicular bisector of this uh, segment. And tada, we have our point B. And simply, ladies and gentlemen, that is our triangle ABC. It satisfies that it's a right triangle at B and it satisfies this relation because it satisfies that the altitude H from B is simply B over four. And th that means that basically we are done. Okay, so like we have finished actually the first IMO, 1959 in our playlist at least, we've solved problem one and problem four. And in the next video, we are going to start with the IMO 19 and 60. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, like, share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.